The Black Dragons are a loyalist chapter of the Adeptus Astartes created during the 21st Cursed Founding. Like many chapters that were created during the 21st Founding, the Gene Seed of the Black Dragons suffers from a number of exacerbated flaws. The most prominent of these is that of their osmodular organ, the biological implant that is responsible for the enhanced ossification and reinforcement of an Astarte skeletal structure, being abnormally overactive, the cause of which being due to an unknown strain of osseovirus. As a result of this abnormality within their osmodula, Many warriors of the Black Dragons chapter begin to develop bony plates, horns, and spines upon their bodies, with some even producing blade-like growths from their forearms, which in a few cases can even be retracted and extended from an Astartes forearm at will, evocative of ancient Terran felines sheathing and unsheathing their claws. The chapter's tech marines will even modify the van braces and helms of their battle brothers to accommodate these protrusions, and will even go as far as to sheath the horns and bone blades of their battle brothers in adamantium, turning their deformities into devastating close combat weapons. Those with more pronounced mutations are even formed into specialist assault units known within the chapter as the Dragon Claws. This hyperactivity within the Black Dragon's osmodular organ also results in many Battle Brothers of the chapter growing extremely large in size, even when compared to the already massive forms of other Astartes. Some warriors of the chapter have even been documented growing in excess of 3 meters in height, resulting in the need for modified or even custom-made suits of power armor to accommodate their bulky frames. There is even a small number of the chapter who grow so deformed in appearance and so massive in size that their enhanced strength and power comes at the cost of their mental state, becoming trapped in a permanent predatory mindset. These members of the chapter, known almost ironically as the Blessed, have devolved into little more than mindless beasts that, while revered and respected by the chapter, a little more than weapons of mass slaughter that are to be unleashed upon the enemy, similar to the frenzied and insane warriors of the Death Company found within the Blood Angels and their successor chapters. Because of their savagery and obvious signs of mutation, many other Space Marine chapters, such as the Dark Angels and Marines Malevolent, refuse to battle alongside the Black Dragons. And yet, Despite the obvious and extreme mutations that the chapter clearly displays for all to see, the gene seed of the Black Dragons, when analysed and scrutinised by the Biologus of the Adeptus Mechanicus, has been declared as being relatively pure, and not only that, but almost free of mutation and genetic deviation. These seemingly anomalous findings, combined with the fact that the chapter is often hesitant and extremely procrastinative in submitting its gene seed tithes to the Adeptus Mechanicus for standard purity checks, which often result in threats of military action from both the Mechanicus and even the Inquisition before such tithes are finally submitted, has caused many members of the Inquisition to doubt the veracity of such checks as well as the purity of the Black Dragon's gene seed. So what could be the secret behind the Black Dragon's apparent genetic purity? While many members of the Black Dragon's chapter sport visible mutation, there are many examples of warriors within the chapter who sport lesser or even no visible mutations of any sort. One notable example is demonstrated with Sergeant Toharan, whose appearance was at odds with other members of the chapter due to having skin that was lighter in coloration than his brothers, blonde hair and no trace of disfiguring crests, horns or blade-like protrusions. Inquisitor Werner Lettinger of the Old Omelius suspected that the Black Dragon simply drew the genetic material that was to be submitted for tithing from those individuals similar to Taharan while assuming that the chapter's apothecaries continued to encourage the development of mutation within other members of the chapter, in order to continue making use of such natural weaponry against their enemies. Indeed, 
Lettinger's suspicions would only be reinforced when he witnessed a sermon conducted by the second company chaplain, Masaurus, when Neostates would repeat the mantra of Bless the Curse. Inquisitor Lettinger's assumptions that the Black Dragons drew their gene seed tithes from purer and seemingly untainted Battle Brothers of the chapter would appear to be proven correct by Toharan himself, within the novel The Death of Antagonus, with the following passage. His body was an unbearable contradiction. It was so pure that the Black Dragons used it to disguise their fundamental impurity. And yet its lack of impurity its missing excess of bone ensured that he would always be an impure black dragon. He could never be at one with the full identity of the chapter. If the apothecaries of the black dragons are truly and deliberately tampering with their chapter's gene seed, then this would very well explain their fundamental reluctance in submitting their gene seed tithes, as unauthorized deviation from the standard genetic template of the Astartes is expressly forbidden by the Imperium. If the Black Dragons are found guilty of this practice, then they could be charged with heresy, or even declared as being excommunicate traitoris by the High Lords of Terror. Should this occur, then the Black Dragons could find themselves being targeted for extermination by the Imperium, the honour of which perhaps even being given to a Space Marine chapter that is infamous for dealing with renegade Astartes, such as the Minotaurs or Cacarodons. But there is one final question about the Gene Seed of the Black Dragons that to this day remains unanswered, the identity of the chapter's primogenitor Primarch. The most likely candidate for the father of the Black Dragon's chapter is rumoured to be Vulcan, the Primarch of the Salamander's Legion. This is mainly due to the fact that the melanchromic organ of many members of the Black Dragons begins to grow overactive at some point during their lives, resulting in the majority of the chapter developing darker skin, though not quite to the same extreme as shown with the onyx black skin of the Salamanders. However, as demonstrated with Taharan and even with the Black Dragon turned Salamander known as Zartath, this isn't always the case. The eyes of the Black Dragons also become subjected to change, with the iris and sclera becoming an oily black in colour. While obviously not the same coloration as the burning red eyes of the Salamanders, it could be argued that these traits are still similar enough to be comparable with whatever differences that exist between them being attributed to the intense radiation of the Salamander's homeworld of Nocturne. But it is also worth noting that many chapters, such as the Raven Guard and their successors, also develop monochromatic colorations to their eyes, and thus that on its own admittedly may not even be a viable link between the Black Dragons and Salamanders. As for the horns and bony growths that are exhibited by the Black Dragons, this could be as a result of the inherent instability of the Salamander's own genetic material, which has a 95% chance of developing mutation or genetic deviation. But if there is no substantial link between the Black Dragons and the Primarch Vulcan, then there is another potential candidate in regards to the Primogenitor Primarch of the Black Dragons chapter one who would initially appear to be extremely unlikely. Sanguinius, the Primarch of the Blood Angels. While it may at first glance appear to be absurd to suggest that the Blood Angels have any links to the Black Dragons, there is surprisingly a number of similarities between the two chapters that could very well suggest a link between them. The first of these is that one of the mutations that the Black Dragons are known to develop is that of extendable fangs. While there are a number of Space Marine chapters whose Battle Brothers also develop fangs, such as with the Space Wolves, it is generally only from those chapters derived from Sanguinius's genetic template that sport extendable fangs, which are known to the Blood Angels as eye teeth. The Black Dragons known as the Blessed could also point towards another potential genetic link between the two chapters as their large size, monstrous appearance and bestial rage 
is also very similar to those members of the Blood Angels that lose their minds completely to the Red Thirst, a genetic flaw that causes an immense and irrational hunger for blood. Those Blood Angels who fully succumb to the Thirst devolve into animalistic, ape-like creatures, as detailed with the following passage from the novel Devastation of Baal. They were abominations twisted far from their human origins by rampantly malfunctioning gene seed. They were twice the size of mortal men, bulging with muscles. Yellowed fangs took the place of human teeth. Their skin was blood red and waxy, their eyes amber. They bounded along on knuckled fists like apes, screaming at the sky. Five dozen immortal monsters whose suffering hung over the chapter like a poison. Free at last. To kill. These particular members of the chapter become locked away within the Tower of Amario upon Baal, alongside those who fall to the Black Rage, doomed to forever scream in rage and hunger, demanding blood upon which to feed. As such, given their savage nature, physical deformities and sheer size, there are certainly some parallels between those Blood Angels who succumb to the Red Thirst and the monstrous blessed of the Black Dragons. Even the Blood Angel known as Brother Cloten, from the graphic novel series Blood Quest, would even begin to develop bony growths upon his head, and even bore witness to a future version of himself that sported massive horns, bony growths along his limbs, and a mindless hunger for blood. But it is worth noting that this particular example could be due more in part to the influence of the warp, as Cloten was, at the time, upon a world within the Eye of Terror. The only major flaw in linking the Black Dragons and the Blood Angels is that the Black Dragons themselves have never displayed any instances of the Black Rage, the other gene seed flaw of the Blood Angels and their successor chapters. This psychological flaw causes those who succumb to it to believe that they are their Primarch during the final hours of the Horus Heresy becoming little more than insane and wrathful berserkers who no longer understand the concept of reality. While the black dragon known as Volos was remarked to have a black rage, this appears to be more of a metaphorical statement as opposed to being a literal affliction of the floor. Despite this lack of documented accounts of black dragons succumbing to the black rage or the red thirst, this in itself does not necessarily disprove links between the two, as the Lamenters, who themselves are a successor chapter of the Blood Angels and a fellow cursed founding chapter to the Black Dragons, did not have any documented occurrences of either floor until the events of the Badab War, almost 5,000 years after their creation. So perhaps the Black Dragons themselves are indeed sons of Sanguinius, sons who themselves had yet to succumb to the maddening effects of the Black Rage. What do you think? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.